Good evening, good evening, good evening, everyone in Vox World. Hope everybody is fantastic tonight. Hope everybody survived the storm of our Ontario for those Ontario residents. And just give me a minute here, folks. We're going to get set up here very quickly. Mia, can you hear me? I can hear you. Perfect. Okay, give me one second here. Okay, me, I have you set up for co-host. We're going to give a few more minutes for people to go on. We have an exciting topic tonight, folks, and I'm so glad you've all taken the time to get with us on the call tonight. Um, we have Mia Saddington, um, who's on the call, and she's under the name of Agnes Lamers tonight, so... Um, <laughs> because there were some technical difficulties that we had today. And uh, I'm very grateful to be on the call tonight. I just got back from a phenomenal event in Orlando, Florida, um, where we um, uh, hosted uh, well over 100 people in a room in Orlando that was uh, hosted by and produced by the amazing, and wonderful, and charming um, Angela Corns, uh, along with her team. Um, Mia Odo and, and also Donalisa, Donalina um, uh, McIsaac. So it was a great, great event in Florida. And I'll tell you, it was a little uh, dicey um, getting back on the plane today, knowing what was going on back, back here. And geez, I looked at the 400 Highway Series north of Toronto and it looked like it was an absolute disaster. So I just hope and pray that nobody was hurt on that highway. And I hope my partner in crime, Mr. Paul Austin, made it home safe and sound. I'm going to check and see whether he's on the call because that may even tell me whether he made it home or not. Uh, Jay, he may have made it and he may not have made it. However, I made it home safe and I'm very grateful for that. The flight was a little bumpy, but not near what I was expecting it to, to be. So thank you all so much for being on the call tonight. Uh, as I said, we have, um, the amazing uh, Mia Saddington. Uh, Mia and her husband, Hal, um, have been Vox Life Associates for over a year now. Um, Mia is a CPA and a CMA, and they've done amazing in this business so far and have done a ton of events. And with her experience, she stepped up, and I'm sure this isn't the most comfortable thing for anyone to do, and with technical difficulties coming down to the wire, it sort of um, puts people on edge, and I get it, but she's done a phenomenal job with Hal and, and uh, Agnes at finding a workaround to help the field here with everything that we uh, can use as far as tools to help us, and one of those tools happens to be the Square, which is an app that you can take payments um, from customers, track uh, customers, track inventory, and so they suggested to me maybe it would be a great topic to, to, uh, to train with the field. And I thought, wow, that's a, that's a great idea because um, although I use the square, I'm not, uh, I'll be the first one to say I'm not real proficient in it, um, but I use it to the best of my ability. So I hope everybody has pen and papers in hand and can take some notes here. And we had a couple little technical difficulties, didn't we, Mia? Um, yeah, we did. As mm -hmm. far as the video is concerned, but we're going to do a workaround. So please be patient with us tonight when we get to the video portion of the slide. But they've worked very, very, very hard on putting this together. And I'm excited to have, um, have them on the call tonight. So welcome, Mia. And I see Hal on there. And I know Agnes is there for support right beside you as you, as you take the camera over. <laughs> and thank you, Agnes, for, for your help <laughs> putting, putting this together. So ladies, the show is all yours. Share your screen where necessary, and welcome, and thank you for being here. Okay. Okay. I'll figure out. I just have to figure out how to share my screen. I think more. And, then, and down at the bottom of the thing, you'll see share. Um, click on that one, then. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Click on the full screen, maybe. And then share. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> How to figure it out. And then share my screen. Double click. And then change over to the slide view. There we go. 
Okay, hi everyone. As Terry said, my name is Mia. I'm so excited to be here tonight with you. Um, as he indicated, my husband and I, we've done box for over about a year and we've done so many different events. When we first started in this business, we started doing paper receipts and we just found that very bulky and uh, we weren't able to track our sales and we weren't able to track customer information. So uh, we actually did the plowing match in September, I believe, and we, we wanted to find an efficient way to record sales and track customer information. We wanted to be able to get people on their way after their purchase as quickly as we could. And it worked really well for us because we had a lineup when we were cashing people out. So that's what our topic is tonight. Um, some of the benefits of using the Square is that you re receive payments directly to your, uh, your bank account on the next business day, which is kind of cool. Um, you can track all of your sales in one location. So you have, there's, it's very easy to record a sale and, and keeping your financial records. We have to remember Vox Life is a business and the fun part is sharing the technology with everyone, but we have to keep in mind that we have to keep financial records. So at the end of the year, we're not pulling out our records and going, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do with my tax return? So this is one, one thing that we can actually do to ease our financial records. Um, this is much quicker than, an easy, than issuing a paper receipt and customers are very receptive to receiving an electronic receipt. We can track customer information all in one spot using Mia. the Square app. We can track their, their, Mia. Name, their phone number. Mia, yeah. can I interrupt for one second, please? Yeah. First of all, maybe what we should do, because there might be some new people on this call, let's mm -hmm. first of all um, talk about what is the Square app. Before okay. We what it does, let's maybe talk a little bit about, because there might be some people that are brand new that aren't really familiar with what the Square app even is. So maybe we could start and just say, give a brief introduction as to what the Square app uh, is and how we use it based on a phone or whatever the case may be. Does that make okay, sense? that's a very good point. Square is just an app that you can, you can put on your phone or in your iPad, like any other app. And you can, using Bluetooth technology and Wi-Fi, you can actually um, um, just record pay customer payments and customer information just by your phone and by your iPad. So it's like basically what it's like, it'll take credit cards, um, and I know ta I know that uh, Square has also come out with the Square Tap. The so. Square Tap, yes. Yeah. So it, so in this presentation, we'll kind of go over the debit tap and these and the um, um, credit card payments. Right. There is a, there is like a mag strip that you can use. I don't find it very effective at all. I mean, you can and you can actually put in customer you can actually put in customer cards manually, but the fees for that is a little bit more expensive. Great. Okay. Sorry to interrupt, but I just I just know sometimes we have people might be sitting there going, "What is the square?" <laughs> you know, that's a I good mean? question. Thank yeah. you, Terry. You're welcome. Yeah. yeah, so we can track all of the customer information. Uh, you can see their name, their phone number, their email address, where we met the customer, um, what they purchased, and maybe we can track some notes. For for example, if we want to say their father is diabetic, they've got um, plantar fasciitis, that kind of thing. There's actually a notes field that you can actually track that information in Square. And it's very easy to follow up with customers. I know Paul Austin out there, if you're listening, follow up is really important. Um, so there's, re there's reports that are easy to download using the Square dashboard, including customer contact information. And the other cool thing about Square is when we actually do an electronic receipt, customers can provide electronic uh, feedback electronically. And we've actually had people do that and they provide some really good positive feedback. Do you enter customers' names, phone and email? Um, yep. Or when you um, when you make a sale, me and is that what you do? Yes, we do. Great. Okay. So I was just uh, I'm just going to see a question as we go. And pardon me from in interrupting, Mia. I don't mean to do that, but I just want to make sure that we get people's questions answered yeah. as we go along, yeah. as they're relevant to what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. And these are really good questions. And I think as we go on in the presentation, you'll actually see how I track that information. Great. Okay. So. We've got a couple of assumptions here for this presentation because I, the idea of this presentation isn't to to show people how to how to download and go by step by step. We just want to want to talk about the benefits or the uh, uh, what did you call it the uh, it's sort of, sort of like you know we were assuming the highlights. the highlights sort of like the highlights. Thank you, thanks Agnes. Yeah. So we're all right. We assume that you already have your have your square on your on your smartphone or your iPad. Um, and that you're familiar with the Square Reader, which accepts debit tap and credit card payments. Now, what am I seeing here? Sorry, but just bear with me for a second. So I know that there's some brand new people out there that aren't familiar with Square, 
And I would encourage you that you go, go to your sponsor and uh, they can certainly uh, answer any questions about what Square is and how to get that set up. Um, the other thing is if you've never used Square before, the first thousand dollars of processing is for free. Um, just simply by, by using the link that your sponsor will provide. Now, when you talk about a link, Agnes, a lot of people, some people don't have a sponsor. Their sponsor may not, may or may not be still in the business. So I think that people can also go to square.com, I believe, um, and they can apply for the, for the square themselves. And uh, I think that, um, that if you're looking for a square or you're looking for somebody's link or um, a referral as, as Square gives people, they give you a referral link. Um, if you're looking for a referral link, just post it in the team page. And some of us that uh, have a referral link will send you a referral link privately because uh, I don't want to post a referral link in um, the feed of the page. But if you're looking for a referral link to get set up, um, then uh, please post a question in the team page and one of us will send you a private message with a link to Square where you can get set up, okay? Perfect, okay. So the other assumption that we've made here is we've turned tax off in Square. Square does have the capability of, of um, calculating tax, but we don't, wanna, we don't wanna get into the discussion of tax in this presentation. So just so that you're aware that if you do charge tax, you can certainly turn that on in Square, but we're not gonna include that in the presentation today. Welcome. Just a second, our screen froze. <laughs> How come it's not going? I might have to escape and go back in. I don't know. That's fine. Yeah. Not escape. Just bear with us, our screen's frozen. The joys of technology. Oh, there we go. Okay. Did we go too far? No, I think okay. so. The next slide is <laughs> so this is the overview. This is what we're going to actually cover off in the presentation again here. We're going to create categories and categories are basically sort of like the product types that we have for example insoles a mini cruise wellness socks that kind of thing um, and then the items in the library are specific items like each particular item then we're actually going to go into a video where we're going to show how you add a customer and record their purchase um, use and also show how we track, um, use groups to track events using notes and then later on um, there will be a slide on uh, downloading dashboard reports. I'm going to the plus sign. Okay. Hit enter. <laughs> okay. So, like I like I said just a minute ago, we actually use categories to track the type of product. So, for, for example, cruise socks, insoles, and you can actually see that um, you can see the categories that we have listed here. We've got the athletic crew. Um, the one thing to note in in Square is this little uh, these little three lines at the bottom here. That's actually the menu. So when you invoke the menu, this window this uh, window pops up. And if you click on items and go to categories, you can create all of your items right here. Just create all of your different categories. It's just information that we can that it's good to have that we can filter down on the information later on to, uh, with that data. So now we're gonna create items in your library. <clears throat> Similar to the other screen, you're gonna go to your menu here at the bottom. I'm just circling that so you can see that. You're gonna to go to items and you're gonna to go to all items. In the iPad, you can actually set up uh, an item grid, but right now we're just gonna set up all the different items. So uh, I have an example here of the triple umbrellas, just over here at the bottom. Um, it says three pack insoles and it shows that it has a price of $100. So the nice thing is we set up all these items, we set up the prices, so we go to cash a customer out, we don't even have to worry about the price, it just, it'll automatically populate on the screen. So now we're actually gonna go to the video. So we have to click on the video, so yeah. to start the video. So now is the volume turned down? Yeah, okay. I believe so. Okay, so we did have some technical if, uh, difficulties with the video, so I've actually turned the volume off and I'm gonna actually try to talk through the video as we play it. So, so what you're seeing here is, this is just, just you're seeing, you're seeing my iPad screen right here, and you can actually see that I've got um, the different items set up. You can see I've got the different categories, wellness, no-shows, mini cruise, cruise, knee highs, and insoles, okay? So I'm actually gonna go to the, uh, to the video. So 
I'm just going to show you how quickly, how easy it is to cash someone out on the uh, on your iPad. Maybe somebody wants some medium wellness socks, so I'm actually going to just going to. Uh, maybe the video has to catch up to me. Hold on a second, guys. Okay. You can see all the items set up here on the grid. And I'm just going over the different categories here at the bottom. So if they want customer want to make a purchase, it's very simple to just to click on the icon. So maybe a customer wants black wellness socks. I just click on that icon there and just look over on the right hand side. It shows black wellness socks medium. And maybe they want a gray pair. I just click on that and it, it appears over on the right hand side. And maybe they want some crew socks. Maybe they want last, I'm gonna click on that icon. You can see that being populated over here. And maybe they want insoles as well. So it's listing all the items right here and it's easy for the customer to follow along. And you can see that the total amount is $225. So we want to track the customer information so we can actually add the customer. I can create a new customer. The information that I track is the, the, the name, last name, their phone number, the email address, what city they're from, and what event they're at. So we use group to track that and track different events. So maybe somebody bought something at the Active Lifestyle Center, or maybe they bought something at home. I just click on that. It's really good information to track. So I'm going to go back. We're not going to go to a new customer. We're actually going to go to an existing customer in this case. And we're going to go on, let's click Crystal right here. Okay. Yeah. I can add notes to indicate that somebody has an issue where I've met her and what she's purchased. Yep. So I'm going to add Crystal to the, to the sale. So now it says Crystal Barclay and all the items that she's purchasing, the total charge of $225. I'm going to click on that. So now we're going to see the payment screen right here. It says $225, and you can see all the different payment types I have set up. Uh, debit, credit payments, manual credit card, check cash, or other payments, and we use other payments for e-transfer. So if a customer actually is paying by, it doesn't matter what payment they're using, we always record the sales in squares. Simply at the end of the day, we can do a sales report for all of the sales. So another feature that's really nice is you can actually split payments. So what's really nice about that, if a customer wants to pay with multiple payments, maybe they want to pay part debit, part cash, part credit card, part debit, we have the capability of doing that. I had a customer actually last week that wanted to pay $10 cash and wanted to pay rest by, rest by debit card. So we would just definitely want to accommodate the customer, whatever the customer wants. So once they tap their payment, there's a new screen that actually comes up and I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna actually activate our sales. However, what's gonna do, it's, it's gonna give you the option to give the customer a receipt by either by, uh, by cell phone, by text, or by email receipt. And so, so again, when they get that receipt electronically, they can provide you with some feedback. So the next, the next video will show you exactly how to do the same thing on the smartphone. Okay. So uh, now you have to click on the next slide and then click the video again. Okay. So again, here we're going to do the same thing with the smartphone. The only difference is now we don't have that grid set up.
you can record your sales on your smartphone. There's a search field here at the top and you can just enter what you're looking for. So say for example, if a customer wants a no-show, So maybe somebody wants a no-show. Maybe they're looking for a medium no-show. So see how the current sale increases by one and the charge is $35. So maybe, maybe the customer wants something else. Maybe they want um, a knee-high. So see how easy the knee-highs come up? and the charge increases and the sales and the count increases to two. Maybe they want another item. I'm gonna put that in the search field again. Maybe they want a box of patches. And again, you can see, see that charge is $125 and the current sales is, is three items. So we wanna show them what the purchases are so far. It's listed right here. So they can see that and they can see the total charge. Now we're gonna click back on current sales because I actually wanna add the customer to that sale and see that little guy, that little menu at the, at the top there, I'm gonna add the customer. Maybe we're looking for Joyce. You can see Joyce's information here, shows some of her recent purchases. I can click on her purchase from yesterday and you can see that she bought some knee highs. Great information to have. So we're gonna do a new sale to Joyce, so we're gonna add that to the sale. And we're gonna click back on total, I'm gonna click X out of there. It says Joyce Stewart, three items, $125. Click on charge. And you can see that all the different payment options here again, similar to the iPad. So if they use a credit or debit card, they can just tap the square reader. You can enter a manual card. And again, cash check or e-transfer. So similar to the iPad, we're gonna record all of the sales in Square. And we have split uh, split payment option as well here, so split amount. So again, like uh, somebody wants to pay more than pay multiple payments, they can use that great information to have. It's really good to track all of your sales in one spot. Yeah, we're gonna record all the sales in Square, okay? Okay, so in addition to, to the Square app that you have on your phone, they also have a dashboard where you can actually download reports. So here's an example of a daily sales report. So you can see over here at the top, our sales were 1730. Um, if you had any tax or tip, it shows that, discounts. or discounts. Um, you can see that I collected $650 in cash and the rest was in cards and fees. Kara, if you're on the phone or if you're listening, you, you were asking me this question the other day. It shows you how much fees there were and this is, so this is the total amount that was uh, the net of sales here at the bottom. Really good information to have. You can just just cut, just copy this information into your accounting software or wherever you're keeping your books. Everything's all in one place and if you ever had to go back and, and uh, get the detail for that, that information is available in the dashboard. Mia, yeah, just a quick question here yeah. um, from uh, Jenny. Um, you mentioned the e-transfer is a payment method. Does Square charge for e-transfer as well? I'm sure no. they do. That's a really good question. They don't charge for check, cash, or e-transfer. Oh, nice. There's no fee for that. <coughs> so nice. Just a way of recording. Just there. a way of, of recording everything in Square. They charge you 10 cents for debit tap, 2.65% for credit cards. And I think if it's manual swipe, um, it's 3.65 or it's something, it's quite a bit more. So. But I find, if you can see here on $1,700 of sales, because I didn't get charged on the cash, I paid $27 in fees. It's, it's a business expense I think it's worth absorbing. If you have somebody that's buying, especially if they're buying three pairs of socks and a pair of insoles, people don't carry cash. So we definitely need an electronic way to take their payment. 
you might want to stress that debit tap is only up to hundred dollars. Yeah, so and Agnes is reminding me that debit tap is only a hundred dollars, and I think that's where the split payment comes into effect because I've actually had a customer wanted to pay with a debit tap. So then I just use the this, this split payment feature. I might put uh, $100 on the first tap and then the, the other $50 on the second tap. That's capabilities there. Yeah, viewer uh, Joanne um, says it's 6.3 for manual. Um, I know it's a lot more, honestly, and I find the debit, the tap machine, I know it's, they, call, they charge $60 at Staples, but in my opinion, it's money well spent because um, it's very, very reliable. Um, the fees are cheaper, and it's so so quick and slick to cash a customer out. I don't have to buy receipt books anymore. Yeah, we don't buy receipt books or any anymore. But and I guess the point that I made to earlier as well is that we want to track as much information about the customer as quickly as we can. We want to get that customer on their way because hopefully we've got another customer waiting for us. And if we can't get to the next customer, that's a missed opportunity. Correct. Okay, so we've got one more slide. There's, a, there's an example of a category, sorry, no, we have a couple more slides, sorry. Here's an example of a category report. So um, that day, it, it gives you an idea of what your popular items are. You can see that we sold an awful lot of no-shows that day. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of different reports available in Dashboard. I think you need to be a little bit computer savvy, but uh, really good information there to, to download information and have follow-up. So here I've got a customer report now. For confidentiality purposes, I've kind of grayed out the, the information about the different customers, what their email addresses are, but you can actually see that, that you can easily download their last name, their first name, their email address, their phone number, and what city they're from. So what we like to do is if, like for example, this past Saturday, we were at a, doing an event in Kingsville. So we'll actually download our customer report, all of our customers, and we'll filter for anybody that's in that same geographic area. There was people in Kingsville, uh, uh, Leamington, Amherstburg, all of those people, we just quickly sent them a quick email just saying, hey, we're going to be at this event on Saturday. We'd love to have you come out, come out for a demo. Uh, you know, if you, uh, if you have any questions or information, we'd love to have you, have you come. So that's a, that's a good way to use this report right here. And here's, a, here's an item report as well. So you can see that um, this, this is from a different day and over to the right hand side, you can see the customer name. Again, I've kind of graded out for confidentiality purpose, but you can actually see um, what category they bought, what items that they bought, what, they, what how many they bought and what their gross sales are. So all good, good tools. And I, and I say that there are really good reports in the dashboard. This one here, we, it, it was been, the information has been downloaded into Excel, and it doesn't come across pretty like this. You have to kind of uh, manage things in Excel a little bit. And that's the end of the presentation. So thank you, everyone. Great. That was, that was fabulous, me. I, I appreciate it so much. I'm just going to uh, stop, stop the share. Screen. I'm going to stop my share here, Ster and Terry. Is that okay? okay yeah, absolutely. Okay. Perfect. Great. So thank you so much, Mia. I know, um, I know that the Square is a great tool. There's a lot of people that, uh, that use it. And obviously, there's a lot of options. And I think to, that we want to encourage everybody to, I'm sure that Square itself has some great tutorials, some great information. I'm sure that if you Google on YouTube, uh, Square options or so on, you'll find information on on uh, Google or on YouTube as well. So people don't be afraid to go out there and do a little bit of research and, and uh, try and utilize the app to the, to the best of its ability. And as Hal and, and uh, Mia had said that, you know, the reports for taxes and stuff are different in every province. So you have that option of turning it on or turning it off for, um, for your particular location. And uh, again, if you have any uh, questions on, uh, on this training or other trainings, please put a post on the uh, on the page, uh, on the team page. And uh, we really appreciate it, Mia. So thank you so much for the effort to, and Agnes for your support there. I know you're hiding in the background there, helping mm -hmm. helping uh, uh, Mia out. So we appreciate the effort. Yeah, that's her hand, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you know, to step up and do your first call and your first training call is a little nerve wracking, I'm sure. But uh, I applaud you guys. I applaud you very, very much for doing this. It's not easy. Um, Hal's back at, uh, at your house, I believe, Mia, supporting yep. you from over there as, you had, as we 
delivered uh, the training tonight from a different computer as you were having computer problems today. But we got through it. Everything's figure outable, right? Everything's figure outable. Figure-outable. I like that word. Absolutely. <laughs> so, so congratulations and thanks again. So just Thank a couple you so much, everybody. Great. Thank you. A, a couple of things to, to um, clean up. A big congratulations to Angela Corns um, and her team. We had a tremendous event, as I said at the beginning of the call, in Orlando. A couple more events coming up. Uh, as follow-ups uh, to Orlando, we announced uh, an event that will be March 14th in St. Petersburg, uh, Clearwater area. I encourage everybody, go to the That's units the section, the units section uh, of your of the team Facebook group, Team Vaccination, unit number one. You will see the meetings. We gotta do a little house cleaning on the units because some events are over with, um, but we have lots of people reaching out, wanting to do events. They are a tremendous tool to use, to leverage and build your business. Get people's uh, rear ends in seats. Get friends there, get family. Do what you have to do. They need to know about our technology. Um, events are where it's at. We had a hundred plus people in Orlando and uh, of course there was probably 40 plus people that didn't show. But as I know right now, there's over 12 enrollments that have started, not to mention people that are re-engaged by being inspired and lifted up again and, and, uh, built in their businesses. So, so, um, Angela Corns, Donalita, um, McIsaac, uh, Mia Odo, you girls did a great job. Congratulations. And I got to show you this. I got to show you this to the crowd. Check this out. Paul Austin and I were given a gift by Angela, a caricature of, our, of ourselves on the Success Express tour. Isn't that hilarious? Absolutely love it. Looks just like me. Perfect. Glasses are a little big, but looks just like me. And I'm very, very grateful for that. So March 14th, St. Petersburg. We have March 9th coming up in Calgary. Big, big event out in Calgary with... Um, uh, Sandra Dolan, Vicki Swan, and her team of people out there. Jay Dollywall is going to be out there, Dr. Mark DeBrinkett. So if you can get on out to Calgary, um, be a great event out in Calgary. Sunday uh, or Saturday, March 9th, we have an opportunity event in uh, Simcoe, Ontario. We have Phoenix, Arizona, March 23rd, a part of the Success Express Tour. So if you have associates out in those areas, you have friends out in those areas, Copy and paste the link out of the units tab. Let's fill the seats in events, people. We can leverage these. Unbelievable to help you grow your business. I know we've got other people that are stepping up. Paul Austin and I, leaders um, that are, we're growing, like Angela and her uh, team, we'll reach out to you and help. But Angela had never done anything like this. But she got out of her comfort zone, and she nailed it. She worked hard. And come heck, heck or high water, she wasn't going to fail. And she did an awesome job. You guys can do it too. If you've got an area that you want to support and you can get 150 to 200 people's um, uh, uh, seat-filled venue, then step up, reach out to us. Um, I know this is ringing with Carl or uh, Carol from Kema. I know she's ringing right now thinking about it. So <laughs> I know she's smiling about it. So um we, uh, you, any one of you can do this. We can teach you how. It's not rocket science. So um, utilize these events. Secondly, um, what else have I got? Um, bu -bu 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 -bum. Yeah, so those are the ones we probably have. Um, uh, Denver, Colorado on April 13th. And then we have Chicago, Illinois. I believe Chicago is... is uh, May 11th for Chicago. And we have Chatham April 6th. Put it on your calendar, everybody. Oh, yeah. Chatham April 6th for um, Mia and Hal and Agnes are doing an event in Chatham, and we will get that uh, link put in the units uh, section of our Facebook team, Facebook group as well. Uh, quick reminder, guys, if you're inviting people to our team page, it's important to do it in real time. We're getting people that – are being eliminated from the groups because they're sitting pending. Nobody's following up after you invite somebody to click on the link and accept your invite. So after 72 hours, they're removed. Facebook has is, is, uh, made it a point that uh, you're removed. So if you're wanting to do or have people actually doing welcome posts before they've even invited the people to the groups. 
So guys, go back, watch some of the trainings. You invite the person to the group, do it in real time. You can also copy and paste the link of the Facebook group and send it to them in a messenger note and they can click on it in real time, put in their ID number. Reminder, we used to have a $2 or a $200 minimum to get into the team vaccination page. That has been removed. Okay, the admins, we had a meeting about it. Um, we felt that uh, it was maybe just a little bit too aggressive. So we have changed that. So if you have team players on there uh, or teammates, you can copy and paste the link. It's now invites only, as we say, not adding. You invite the person, try and do it in real time. Have the person waiting, pick up their notification, click on join group, and then they will be prompted to answer or to add their associate ID number. Once they add their associate ID number, they click on send to admins. Then we get a notification that they've done it properly. They're then approved into the group. Then you can do your welcome post because you can now tag them. They are in the group and we will approve the welcome post immediately. So work on it. We're doing a lot better than we have been. Thank you all for your patience as we Try to express the proper way to do this. I know that uh, Facebook is difficult at times and they change, but we do this right. I, I promise you the duplication will be fantastic and it will work for you. We can all do this. So again, Mia, Al, Agnes, thank you so much for your efforts tonight. Everybody on the call, I appreciate you being on here again. And um, let's continue in the pursuit of excellence as we reach a billion people sharing this amazing technology, and each one of you are very important links in the chain to be able to accomplish that. So thank you so much. Good night, everybody, and we'll talk soon, and I will unmute everybody so we can do our normal. Good night. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, all. Bye. Bye.